me tell you what a time to be alive. This is our first free black man. This is our first free black man. Whether you know it or not, whether you're willing to acknowledge it or not, this is our first free black man. This is a black man who went to a fashion house, had a deal with Adidas, and Adidas thought they had him, but he had that Charlie Sheen clause. You gonna pay me whether I'm here or not. There is not a thrift store, a Salvation Army, a Goodwill that you can go into that Adidas is not on the shelf. Ain't nobody wearing it. I watched this man throw $7 million at a network like a stripper during the Super Bowl to turn his phone around and make a video and market himself. He didn't pay for no cameraman, no set designer, no executive director, no creative director. He didn't pay for any of that. He simply gave them $7 million and made his own commercial. He marketed himself. You looking at your first free black man. See, years ago, I, I had the privilege of watching a Jack Johnson documentary, Unforgivable Blackness, my favorite, my most favorite boxer, and it's the history behind it. So a, a biographer asked him, what do you want people to know you for? What do you want them to remember about you? And he said, I want them to remember that I walked through this life as a man. Every time I see Kanye, I hear that. I want them to know I walked through this life as a man. People thought he made a mistake by marrying Kim. He did not. First of all, he needed somebody that was going to take care of those children. He needed somebody that knew money. He, knew some, he needed somebody that was business savvy. But also, he needed somebody that would be able to protect the money just in case he couldn't. When the wolves came knocking at the door, and Kim is smarter than what it is that she looks like. Y'all worried about the wrong shit. He, he did right. Somebody that can protect the money, not like Sam Cooke's wife. When you look at him, you're looking at walking history. When you look at him, you're looking at the first free black man, the first free black anything. Put some respect on his name.